with my bad bitch. I'm free and I'm motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. Yeah. She can yeah. she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He <laughs> said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like okay. I used to be. I bought you. I bought you. I bought you. I'm free and I'm motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? Guys, alright, so the first thing that I ordered is a Long Island, obviously, and I don't know why I always order this, because after, like, the second one, I usually have a headache, well, after I sleep, that is, but that is my drink, let's give it a taste test, and then I'll tell you, also, oh my god, I hope I don't get copyrighted because of the background music, yeah, okay, if I get copyrighted, then you guys are not going to hear my voice, Hapa. I'll just show you my drink. But yeah. Cops that are all set. Bitches in my old phone. I should call one and go home. I've been in this love too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much. I'ma call her and you and say, Fuck that nigga that you love so bad. Hey you guys, how is everybody doing? Welcome back to a new vlog. Oh my god, you guys, I have missed you so much. I hope you go I hope you go safe. Um, so yeah, so you guys, you really say you don't mind when I show you bags. So I really want to show you uh, some of my favorite bags. Uh, also on this vlog, as the title reads, yes, we are getting our dining table, but more on that once I finish up with the haul let me quickly do it i think i've i've uh i have done another haul on this vlog though i'm not sure but yeah you guys really say you don't mind me showing you the bag so let me show you haraka raka as we all do it, as we always do it i mean so i'll start with the best obviously <laughs> so the first bag that i got is this isn't is a poza guys they are not my bags uh so for those who are new here i have a thrift business called stacy thrifted bags Actually, after I'm done with this, I need to... Ooh, the collabos. Yo, I have collabos for this. After I'm done with the haul, I want to take some pictures for Instagram. I've not updated my page in such a long time, eh? Yeah, so um, I got this. It's such a cute mini bag. And if you're a thrifter, you know getting such bags is such a hassle. Like, these are the type of... These are type of bags that you always get if you're just going randomly you'll not find them because it was menda so i feel like this bunch was really really beautiful but yeah that's the first bag here is the ender so i don't know maybe by the time this vlog will be up it will still be there and then um, ah, this this is my personal favorite because it reminds me of the lady dior bag this is absolutely gorgeous. Let's get into it. Oh my god, the black and white, like anything that has to do with black and white, count me in. So yeah, it looks like that. Super, super cute. It has a zipper like this. I don't think I'm going to open it on the inside because that will just make the vlog to be unnecessarily long. And then I also get, got a Kelly or <laughs> a duo of the Kelly bag that looks like that super super cute this one has already been bought I absolutely love this bag this those three are my personal personal favorite I feel like they are also my style especially this this would be so cute for like a dinner date oh my goodness so cute <laughs> I'm always so geeked up when I get like nice bags because I'm like ah I can't wait for my customers to rock these bags because they are super super cute fire yeah. Yes, these three are my personal favorite. Not to say these other ones are not my favorite, guys. <laughs> I don't believe really that. Um, I also got uh, an LV bag. This one has also been bought already. It looks like this. Super cute. I love how the strap is also branded. It's not an original LV. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but getting, getting designer items is really, really hard. These things are super expensive and I mean like super, super expensive. So the idea of somebody just letting something as expensive go so that it can come to 
uh, Africa, obviously in the two Ziwe, sounds almost impossible. So Sidzui, if it's possible to get an original designer, uh, Uko Gikosh, I really don't think that's possible. But anyway, uh, the bag looks like that. Like I said, it's not an original, it's a dupe, but I absolutely love the quality. One thing about Mutumba bags, the quality always comes through. Like you can't be disappointed with Mutumba bags. That's for sure. All right. Another bag that I got is this. This one has also already been bought. So I recently found out that this um, print is called Hound's Tooth. Hound's Tooth. Such a bougie name. I didn't know. There are so many things that I'm getting to learn about bags. You know, I really thought... I, I really thought I knew brands until I started selling bags and now I don't even know other brands that are number one at customers one were like no that's a designer brand you like wow I've never heard about that but yeah it's quite interesting it's a very interesting process and journey but yeah I'm here for it but yeah this is also another bag super cute um and then I also got a Chanel obviously it's a dupe again guys you can it's, it's quite impossible to get someone who has just donated a chanel bag i those things are super expensive but yeah what do i know <laughs> so the bag looks like this api jayela and this one is super big and then uh, of course shoulder bags yes you can buy shoulder bags guys i have this let me bring it closer in a kahibi super cute and then i got this in a kahibo that one looks like that. And I have more palenny than I don't want to make this seem like it's a Sitaki Kani Kama I'm doing a bags haul and you guys Sakangin Boyke. You know you guys I love you so much. Sakangin Boyke. So I have this brown one. I had forgotten to show you. It looks like this. Ah, uh, you guys, I sell really unique bags. Maybe them we follow go Instagram and TikTok. I also have this sling bag. I was thinking of taking this for myself. I'm such a sling girl. Like, <laughs> slings for me will never go out of style. So I've been thinking of taking this, but I'm still like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then there is also this black bag in a Kahibo. It's just a normal black bag. Yeah, the, oh, let me show you the last one. <laughs> That's always what I'm doing. Nicole, like, oh, let me show you the last one. Let me show you the last one. But yeah, there's this spear. Super, super cute. Oh, this so, this goes so well with my outfit, yeah? And then, oh my God, you guys. To, nowadays, I've been so skinny. Do you know this top? Kitambo ni kiva singe ifunga pambele. Like, I used to squeeze myself into it. Nowadays, I'm easily like it's easily fitting me. <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah. Also, I was talking about how my dining table will be coming in on this vlog. Ah, I'm so excited! I'm so excited for this space to be full. I am so tired with that space looking empty. I cannot wait for this to have a dining table. Ah, dining table! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Guys, this is Patrick's place. Now, let me tell you if there is one thing that I've noticed with these fundis, it's actually better to just take something that is already made than to give them an order. Like, fundis can really frustrate you. Do you know that uh, the dining table was supposed to be ready by yesterday? Today is on Friday. I've already, I had already given him like a whole week and two more days. And the table is not still complete. There is another whole side. Imagine, he's not picking my calls. He's not responding. He's not texting me back. At least when I do, at least Fundia ki text back, I say, oh, your table will be ready. Just give me another one week. That's better. Guys, let me tell you, I thought Nilikuwa ni mioshwa. I even had to come here. Yesterday, I came here, ni kapata wa mefunga, ni kasema bus. That's it. <laughs> but 
at least leo they are open so let me show you the few things that they have they also have another workshop but at least but i didn't want to film so yeah is in the video for now they usually have a lot more things i don't know mbona leo ni kidogo hivi but this food is hey me i'd rather you just buy something that is already made you come you pick what you want you pay them and go kwa pea order watakukula kichwa acha nizunguke So yeah, those are the few things that they have. They usually have a lot more. So you wanna learn kidogo ivi, but yeah. Hey you guys! So I just got back home from town, running errands. Yes, what else is new? And I've gotten a few things that I quickly want to do a haul of. Oh, the sunset looks so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So the first thing that I got are these flowers, very basic, and I feel like this was such a ripoff because I got them for 300 Kenyan shillings, 300 bob. Can you imagine? So the reason why I settled for, the, I feel like if I went to city market, I could have gotten like a very beautiful bouquet for 300 because a rose goes for like 20 bob. But the reason why I settled for this is because I usually use them for my Instagram pictures. So I was like, it's okay, I need them anyway. So I usually place them up for our entryway. Those ones I've had, I've had them for one month. Can you imagine these flowers really last a long time? So I got some baby bread, some green ones, and then I don't know the name of the white ones. But okay, they're not that bad. You know, they're not that bad. <laughs> this is me trying to convince myself, but for 300, anyway, it's okay. So, okay, before we even continue with the haul, let me give you an update of the coffee table, dining table I mean, imagine it's still not ready, it's still not ready yet, but let me tell you, we are going to have a dining table on this vlog, on this vlog, so hopefully by next week on Monday, the dining table will be ready, imagine, I'm back in such a small space, so at this point I'm just going to be patient because I can't do anything about it. Anyway, so I've been meaning to get myself some bags, <laughs> you know, as someone who sells bags, honestly, if you see the type of bags that I carry around, you would be embarrassed on my behalf because tell me why I sell bags and I have the most basic looking bags ever. So today, because I had some time today, I was like, let me go to Gikomba and get like, I'm going there specifically to get my own personal things instead of like going to restock uh for my business so let's get started i only got one two i only got four <laughs> by the way so the first one that i got is this black bag ah this one was so cute and for me it was like am i just a it then i told myself no if i behave like this it means that i will never have good bags in my closet and we cannot do that yeah so i got this it's a black bag this one almost looks like a brand new bag it's so cute it even had like it was um what is it called it had a tag that i removed because obviously you cannot walk around with a bag that has a tag right but it's super super cute i love the black and white so cute my goodness this is such a good find and then the inside looks like that it looks like a brand new bag absolutely love it and then it's from this brand that is called Camila and Corali. I don't know about them. I've never had them before. But yeah, that's the first bag that I got. The second bag that I got is this that looks like this. It's like a, a Kelly bag. You all know I'm obsessed with those type of bags. And when I saw this, this one is a bit small. It can't fit uh, my phone. The other two that I got that were similar to this, I sold them. But this one now I'm keeping. It looks like that. Oh, it needs two, four. Hmm. The lighting guys the lighting i don't know how you all are going to see can you focus please let me get out of yeah there you go that's how the kabag looks like of course it's dirty you know with thrifted bags i need to wash it but that's how the kabag looks like i personally like the the look of the kabag open like that such a good find i am absolutely lo in love with that all right another bag that i got is this um gd that looks like this absolutely gorgeous i've been looking for such a bag but when i saw this small one i was like ah, it's okay let me settle for it it looks like that on the inside i'm not even um 
I've not put my phone inside Nione Kama Itatoshia by yeah, that's how it looks. Ah, I, I'm so in love. And then the last thing that I got is a phone bag that looks like this. I've been wanting to have a phone bag for such a long time. Every uh, the, all the nice phone bags that I see, I'm usually selling them. But now today, because I went there specifically to get my own things, I'm not sell. I'll not sell anything that I bought today. So yeah, I got that phone bag. It looks like that. It's super cute and it fits a phone. This one I put my phone inside. Actually, let me try and carry this. Let me see. Oh my god, this is such a cute bag, guys. I'm, I'm obsessed. Like you can even carry it like this when you're going out on a day. Let's get into it. Such a good find, honestly, such a good find. All right. So while at, I was at it, of course, my impulse buying uh, took over and I got things that I really did not need. But it's fine, you know. I saw a quote somewhere that was saying, you need to spend money in order for money to come back. And I was like, you know what? I took that quote and I ran with it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I got some house shoes that look like this. They are black in color. So the thing is, I have so many house shoes, yeah? And they are like almost white in color. And let me tell you, they are hectic to clean. I mean, they are good looking when you're looking at them, but they are not functional at all. Because tell me why I have to keep on washing them every single week. I have to wash some house shoes and it's so annoying even when you have like friends over and maybe they have to put on the shoes. And now you can't tell someone to oh because wash you can't tell someone that so the shoes what I mean is the shoes get dust quite easily and fast so I wanted to get something uh yeah something different so they look like these are super super cute and they are black and they actually fit me to the T so cute this was this one's for going for a hundred bob one hundred Kenyan shillings and then I also got a blouse that looks like that. It's like a cropped blouse. This one is so cute. <laughs> Let's get into it. It's giving chic, it's giving effortless, you know, those type of looks. Um, I have to go on Pinterest and see how to sell this. I don't even have a particular look in mind. But when I saw this, I was like, this is something that I can easily find and look for so yeah it looks like that i've always been looking for like cropped white shirts they are always looking so good it's so cute and you all know me and cute things yeah and then it's long sleeved yeah and then i also got a bucket hat so yeah anyway i, I had a story <laughs> That I wanted to tell you, but I was like, you know what? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's keep this short. So this bucket hat looks like this. Super cute and adorable. I love it. For those uh, bad hair days, like, for example, what's going on right now? Yeah? All right. So I also got some bed sheets that look like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. White bed sheets are cute and all, but they are boring. They are boring. I wanted something different. I wanted some character in my bed some character i don't even know what that means but yeah whatever so i got a black bed sheet and rangyake in shika bed i don't know why it looks like it's faded but it's a really cute black bed sheet and then i got some gray ones i really didn't know what other color to get i was thinking of purple and yellow and then i was like okay yeah i know i'm trying to go for a different look but yeah that's that's a bit too different for me so i settled for these two uh these ones are going for 200 bob this one i got for 400 and then these shirts i feel like i was ripped off because it's gigomba i mean the prices should be twice uh like they should be less than the prices in town i got this for 300 bob so yeah and then the shoes i got them for 100 bob i think i've already mentioned for the bags, I don't know, the bags are going for 500, 600, like that, like that. And then the last the last thing that I got uh, was some makeup product. I went to this shop that is called Ken's Cosmetics, I think. Yeah, uh, they are located in Bihi Towers, fifth floor. And their prices are really good because uh i got a legal pro matte high definition long wear matte foundation this is the best foundation that i usually use let me let me see how to show you guys like oh i don't know okay like this it looks like that 
this is hands down the best foundation that I use for me. I've tried other foundations, but this one fits me. It just fits me. It's not light. It's not dry. I mean, I, I just like it, honestly. And it was very affordable. It was going for 13 75 1375 um the reason why i'm saying they're affordable the last time i bought this foundation was 1800 kenyan shillings 1800 for guys at this point i'm even like questioning if case Ken's cosmetics are like legit because why is this foundation so affordable but anyway i still got it yeah whatever you know what at this point i don't think you can even tell what is legit and what is not anyway I also got uh, a Lay Girl Pro Concealer, it looks like that. But they have already applied the foundation on my face because they did a shade match while I was there. But obviously, when, once you get home, you really need to be sure because they can do that and then if you find it's the wrong shade and then now, and you've already opened, you know you can't return it. Now you have to get another foundation, then you mix them so that you can get your right shade, which is a lot of work. So I had to... Uh, shade match once I got home and I think it, it fits me perfectly so yeah I might just call and catch a play I might just come see you today you wait I'm stuck up in my bed but love it when I'm playing games that's the only way we get away we start together you must forever that's why I cannot go away that looks like that yeah i've been using it and it's good so far uh, and then today i've decided to tie my hair up because it's been a while it's a lot of braids <laughs> i look like i have i don't know how to explain like a big thing on my head but anyway i just wanted something different today also i need to i need to retie this but anyways, so you really said, oh my god, I cannot, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. This is looking crazy, isn't it? Right, it is. Oh my god. Anyway, you guys are going to ignore this for now. You guys say that you don't mind uh, seeing the hauls uh, on my videos. So today we have another one. We have another one. And so for those who don't know or those who are new here, I have a thrift business and I sell bags. Most times when i get cute bags i tend to show them here just because you guys are my subscribers and i love you and i'll just like to give you some good things all right see what your instagram pick okay i mostly sell them on instagram and tiktok i use the same name on all my platforms uh, oh no 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 actually on instagram it's stacy thrifted bags and then on tiktok is stacy youtuber yes i'm going to place the names on the screen <laughs> but if you start stacy my page will for sure come up but anyway, I quickly want to show you some of the bags that I have recently gotten. I want to pack them right now. Um, yeah, because we're going to make some deliveries. But yes, let me let me show you some cute bags. Uh, I mostly show the ones that I really think they are like my style and something I would um, carry. That doesn't mean that the others that I will not show you guys. Because maybe I buy bags, then she's like, okay, so you don't like the bag that I got. <laughs> That's not what it means. What it means that it, it means that some bags are just not my personal style. Some are. That doesn't mean that the bags that are not my personal style are not good. I hope that is clear. But yeah, let me show you. <laughs> I wanted to clear that up. So there's this. This one looks like that. Don't mind these are the price tags. Aka Kanaka Hivi, really cute. I would totally rock such a bag because I'm such a fan of these prints. They just scream classy and stylish. And yeah, this is one of those bags. You can style it as a shoulder bag and it also has a long strap. And then these things can be detached. So you can carry this bag however you want. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. It looks like that. That's the first bag. Another bag that I got is this. It looks like that. It's a white bag. 
super super cute it looks like that and i mostly love this bag because of the interior the inside looks like that let's get into it super cute you guys i'm going to show you as quickly as possible as we always do there is this one this one is cream the other one is white uh, another personal favorite is this shoulder bag that looks like this i love this as accessory so much whoever will get this this one has not been bought yet but whoever will get it uh, this is such a stylish bag and then the prints look like that such a cute brown bag it's a shoulder bag which means it's stylish but yeah this is also another bag that i absolutely love another one that i got is this it's a fast link bag this one is also super cute i love it another personal personal when i say personal i mean like my personal favorite it's this one oh let's get into it it's so cute it reminds me of the kelly bag yes let's get into it that's how you open it this is brown this is cream it's a cream color and it looks like that and you open it up like that oh so cute i love it and then it has like a cupboard lock at the back just for for accessories i don't think it's like a little padlock and then it has this thing uh so cute it's such a cute cute bag yes i think it looks like that super super cute and it also comes with another stuff this one has also not been bought so maybe by the time i put this vlog up maybe zitakua you guys if you see something you like with a new viewer and i'll tell you all right let's go on another one that i got is this it looks like that super super cute it's green in color everyone thinks this bag is black <laughs> everyone but it's green yeah a very cute green color looks like that all right i have this mustard one that i absolutely love that one has already been bought another personal favorite is this and guys these bags are thrifted these bags are thrifted <laughs> this one looks like a bag you would buy from the shop right it's so cute and then the inside does a zipper i just want to show you the inside of this because i feel like it's really really pretty it looks like that all right another personal favorite is this oh my god this is such a cute um bucket bag Okay, but it looks like that on the inside super duper cute i love it and then the slings it's the slings for me this is such a unique and different bag like it's a bag you will not see a lot of people carry because of the style the shape of it especially when it's like full if you're a bit too nerdy, it looks super cute of course it comes with the sling again with a longer sling and a shorter sling these things can be removed if you want so you can carry the bag however you want so yeah this one was super cute and then the last one is a phone bag that looks like that just a white phone bag oh i have hmm let me see oh this far bag there's this one that is super cute it looks like that there is also let me just show you these two and then we are done there is this this one looks like that i love it i don't know what it is about these bags that have two things that look like this this one also looks like that here in and then this is the last one looks like that so those are my favorite 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 bags <laughs> which it doesn't mean that the rest is pendy but yeah i just wanted to show you because you guys are like we actually don't mind and i was like bet you guys are my people i love you so much for that because i genuinely do enjoy like doing the hauls and you're like just bring them on oh my god and i was like say less let's do this so yeah those are some of the bags that i got uh now let me get into parking today is on saturday let me just park in the kewatu bazaar because they've already been bought and it would be so bad if you bought something because me if i buy something i'm sleeping thinking about it yes so let's do that and we'll catch up later yes yes the next day
Guys, uh, a neighbor of mine, I mean, he uh, that she was making. He is a chapati zimenda group of schools called Wow, Wow, Wow. <laughs> so nice, yeah. I had already taken a bite because I couldn't resist. Oh my god, they look so good, eh? Hmm. All right. I might just come see you today You wait, I'm stuck up in my ways But love it when I'm playing games That's the only way we get away We stuck together, you must forever That's why I cannot go away Bitch, I'm with my nigga. Okay, I stout name, say in it's from my nigga. Bitch, say she pregnant, it ain't from my nigga. Nah, I don't pay for shit, it's all on my nigga. Bitch, Maserati mummy, in the roof missing. She ate crab legs, now her whole tooth missing. Cheap ass veneers, you stay talking shit. Put a marker to this bitch, she's so counterfeit. I'm the baddie in the CEO. Got the bitches shaking ass and videos. In a cut, getting high with an emo hoe. We in wrong way, you bitches in dark chat. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. I've been gone for a year, only know like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I don't wanna know but she's so down Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, girl, no, baby And I need 
table with here the food is trying to attach it because it came se separately because it wouldn't get through the door if it was full like that so yeah so that he can attach it so apparently when i'm moving out hopefully not anytime soon i'll have to remove it again but it's fine so yeah that's how the dining table looks like this is this is it looking upside down eh? so once he's done i'm going to show you the full look i really like it i hope the chair that i usually have will fit because that's the chairs i'm planning on buying but yeah hey you guys so yeah please ignore how my hair looks i'm just from the salon and the lady who usually makes my hair she's not available so i was like you know what uh one extra day with uh, having bad hair day will not make me die so i'm just going to wait for her please ignore how my hair looks i know i know it looks crazy but um uh, our dining table is finally here yo can you see the background i'm really going to go there and show you how the table looks like i'm not going to plug in the fundi because this fundi has really uh made me go through hell and i felt like i was begging for him to make me a dining table and i don't want anyone to experience that so kindly you can take a screenshot if you want you can show your fundi but this fundi nah you guys are pana so and you know i'm actually feeling bad about that because i have worked with him before i gave a few people his number some orders so i really don't know why he did this to me this time around 
Can you imagine a fundi switching off his phone for a whole week, no communication, nothing. Ukienda kwa like their site, they are closed. I even thought he had stolen from me, but I was giving him the benefit of the doubt because it was somebody that I knew and it's somebody that I've worked with before. So I was like, let me let me just maybe something bad happened to him or whatever. I don't know. Let me just give him some time. But bro, no, I don't want anyone to experience that. So yeah, I don't want it to sound like I'm complaining. But wallahi, wallahi, fundis. Fundis. Hey. Anyway, you know what? Atakama mad. the way the table looks like, has just made me forget everything that he made me go through. So if you like, if you'd like a similar table, you can take a screenshot and show your local fundi or if you know someone. But me personally, you guys, I'm not going to plug you this guy. Mm -mm. I would not want any one of you guys to pity what I've pity had with this guy. So yeah, let me flip the camera and show you how the dining table looks like. Oh my god, it looks so good and I'm just happy that that space, that space, yeah, it's finally full. It has been empty for a while. Um, also, I'm torn in between uh, placing the entryway table right where it is or maybe around the mirror. Let me see. Let me switch it up. I see which one looks better. And you guys can also comment. Miniambia which one looks better according to you. And we're going to do that. I am so happy that the dining table is here. Also, <laughs> for the chairs, this dining table was hella expensive in all honesty. And I felt like I could not manage to pay for like chairs and the dining table so i opted to pay for them like separately so the dining table is here and then for the chairs i'm still torn between getting this these ones are really looking aesthetic and they are very affordable i think one goes for like 2500 so because i already have one i think getting three more will actually be very pocket friendly compared to getting um normal dining chairs because i was asking around and a normal dining chair for one goes for five thousand y'all 5,000 especially the design that I wanted so getting like four that is 20,000 and then you add the amount that I paid for the dining table No, I'll just leave that for my husband. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll get the M's chairs I think that's what they're called. Yes, so let me flip um, The camera so that I can clearly show you the dining table and then comment down below me Kama you like it or you don't like it. I'm also going to uh, Panguza it because it was quite dusty but yeah let's let's do that All right you guys so the dining table looks like this it's fluted ukochini and then on top it looks like that i've just placed some flowers that i usually place up aqua entryway but i really love them i really i mean i really love the dining table especially with this this um to m's chairs i really think it's going to look aesthetic and the size of the chair and the table is perfect like it, it will just fit um perfectly so yeah that's how my dining table looks like i know it's incomplete guys and like i mentioned it was just very expensive for me if i got everything at once so on this channel atunanga pressure by the way on this channel we buy things at our own pace <laughs> um so yeah that's how the dining table look like i think i'm going to close off this vlog here i know i've dragged it so much and i really apologize for that i'm really trying to be consistent i'm trying to find some balance between my business and this uh, YouTube because I really love YouTube. Uh, Joanne, Joanne was asking me the other day if I had stopped YouTube and I was like, oh, I love this red app so much. I can't just quit just like that without a reason. No, I don't think so. So yeah, I really, I'll really try to be consistent. Every time I say that, I don't get consistent. I also feel like um, because of the views as in motivating him to as much, you know, you film this whole one hour vlog and then in a part are like 1k 2k views and then you're like yeah all that effort but anyway it's never always about the views but sometimes peer you can't just ignore it because it's a lot of work um despite what people think by the way but yeah i don't know how this has turned into a complaint about youtube views but yeah that's the final look of my dining table guys if you've gotten to this far end oh my god the last time i said that i got people who actually watched till the end and i was shocked so if you're watching till this part drop a black heart kindly so that i can know that you guys are actually going to watch um until the far end drop a black heart and let's confuse let's confuse the, the people who are not like real ones you know those who leave uh the vlog uko katikati let's confuse them so drop a black heart if you watch until this far end so thank you so much for watching 
and also if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe and yeah i will catch you up on my next vlog bye